as you can see, we've done, you know, we did in the challenge, we did some different phrases, right? We did it for ourselves, um, accepting ourselves, that sort of thing. So you can see how loving kindness can become kind of a fluid practice where we can change it and make it fit what we need it to fit for that day. So in this case, this week, I've been doing a lot of meditations on transitioning, uh, you know, from August to September, summer to fall, as we continue to do so uh, this month, uh, right, with autumn coming up on, I think it's the 21st. I know that's when my autumn equinox sound bath is here in Madison, but uh, it's that's what we're doing, transitioning. But we all need that love right now. Loving kindness is a gift that we give ourselves. You have to remember that. It's a gift that we give ourselves. And today with this idea of the changes, uh, may I be safe through all transitions. May I be happy and at peace. May I be healthy and strong. May I navigate changes with grace and understanding. And we feel those deeply. It can really make a difference. And then, you know, if we used it for somebody that we know, uh, as, you know, I suggested in the meditation today, you know, not only are we receiving it for ourselves, but we're, we're sending that outward, that they may be safe through any transitions that they're going to. It's not just the season. It's whatever transition in our life, maybe, we know people who are going back to school or college or transitioning a, a you know job position or ourselves moving, you know, that sort of thing. May I be safe during this transition? May may you be safe during that transition? May I, you, we, all beings, be happy and at peace and healthy and strong. And may we navigate these with with ease really is what we're saying when we say with grace and understanding. It's like, yeah, can we do this from a place of equanimity as well too? And, you know, as I said during the meditation that sometimes we are our harshest critics, right? I know I can be. And loving kindness helps us to soften and to bring in some compassion to ourselves. So important. So that is a great way to start the day. So we'll be doing that on Fridays then. So yes, that's a great closing. <laughs> so may you be happy. May you be safe. May you be well. May you be peaceful. And it is my friends.